India is gearing up for what it hopes will be its own chat GPT moment. The country is building its own large language model that may one day rival OpenAI's chatbot. But in a country of countless languages and dialects, this is easier said than done. Ishanka Kasmore. This artificial intelligence model can copy a speaker's voice and tone, which means once it has been trained, it can speak the language like a human being. It takes in text and converts it to speech. Communicating with the user like an actual person. It's being used in this app called Krishi Sath or With Farmers, which answers questions about crops health. This ability to translate text to local languages can be crucial in India. Making sure that the most remotely uh, inaccessible regions also benefit from AI. That is part of the vision here. Professor Ramakrishnan is part of the government-funded consortium called Bharat Gen. It has already rolled out 19 language models since its inception last year. Reaching out to magazines, to data sources, to foundations, to NGOs who have been gathering data in the local languages and making it possible to digitize and digitalize and reflect that in the foundational model. So this is a big opportunity. Bharat Jain is one of five major language-based AI projects currently being supported by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. Its goal is to utilize generative AI to solve everyday problems, but to do that, it needs to process multiple languages seamlessly. India has a staggering 22 officially recognized languages and more than 10,000 local ones. So coding an AI model that can understand most, if not all, is complicated. Some languages like Marathi share common roots with others such as Hindi and Gujarati. While others such as Kannad, Telugu, Tamil and Malayalam spoken in southern India are completely different. The model though understands just one thing, data. And the lack of availability of online content in Indian languages to train the AI model on is another challenge. Bharat Jain says roughly half of all the data available on the internet is in English, while Indian languages make up barely 1%. One big reason for that is that many literary works in Indian languages have never been digitized and a lot of traditional and cultural information has been passed down generations verbally without ever being put on the internet. Experts say collecting data from these local sources could be half the battle won as the diversity of languages and data could help create AI models with fewer biases. India is all about scale and complexity. If it is solved in India and if it works in India, chances are it will work in the world. That's the opportunity. AI isn't part of Ghuran Yadav's street food business yet. His first foray into it has stirred up a few kinks. Searching chat GPT for the recipe of the food he sells, the AI response underwhelms. The app understands his question in the local dialect of Bhojpuri, but replies in Hindi. Guran thinks it's because the chatbots are foreign-made. But to get made in India generative AI and at scale, experts say firms like Bharat Jain need to invest billions of dollars on graphics processing units and data centers. A hefty price tag, yes, but arguably a small price to pay to transform India from major tech service provider to major tech disruptor in what could soon be a trillion dollar market. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.